ladies and gentlemen today we're going to try out for the first time a war strategy game called million lords i've actually had people comment on my videos in the past mentioning million lords as a game that they've been recently addicted to this summer in 2024 so i am excited to jump right in and see what the hype is about because the gameplay is very different from other city builder games that you and i are familiar with here on the channel but first what's going on guys cheers pleased to meet you lord let me introduce myself i'm almati king of the three lands I'm now in search of a successor, a king worthy of reigning over my lands. Okay, if you're here, it is certainly for this reason. Let me explain a little about the particularities of my kingdom. What is that name, man? You rule your main city. This city is protected by a shield and cannot be attacked by other lords. It produces gold and troops over time. It's the heart of your realm. I think you're an excellent war chief. Let's go over some basics together. To be victorious, you need to know your enemy. In order to do this, you scout the enemy city. Okay, so this is the scout button here. Let's select that and i am going to scout this neutral unit when you send a soldier to an enemy city the soldier will scout it to know the city's defenses okay so we are sending a scout and oh the world is like it's like a almost like a 3d watercolor type of world this is cool great your soldier gave you precious information on the enemy city you can see how many troops are defending it i'm guessing that's the 10 right there yeah we've got 10 troops defending the city okay to get more details about your enemy's defenses check the report your soldier gave you let's check that this is the recap for more details check okay so let's see you can see the city's defenses counting every bonus it has so a grand total of 80 defenses with everything now you have everything you need to crush him you can land an attack on your enemy so here we go you can choose how many troops to deploy to attack to be victorious here send all your soldiers against the city so there's 200 okay let's hit attack and our army is heading over to the city and we've conquered the city okay so i want to look at that report here it says victory you earned one level your reputation is growing each time you reach a new level you'll gain troops in your main city and skill points okay so we got 112 gold which you can't see because my head's in the way we have 112 troops and two skill points by the way today's video is sponsored by million lords so if the game looks interesting there's going to be a link in the description below you can try the game for free today and i wanted to thank million lords for sponsoring this video because generous sponsors like them help me do what i do here on youtube you're stronger now strength alone will not lead you to victory you need to expand your kingdom to improve your production time to conquer another city okay your troops stay in the city after the attack you can use them to take another neutral city so this is the send troops button i can see so we select this guy and looks like we don't have as many troops as we did before but also the game is not prompting us to send a scout we're just gonna send an attack so let's see what happens let's i like tapping the little tree this is cool all right we got the level up here once again that's a pretty cool portrait i feel like a tiger king you know what i'm saying i feel like i'm tiger king over here so we got 78 gold 78 troops and another skill point okay you know how to lead your troops congratulations so that's pretty much it and the screen is flashing red which means we're getting attacked okay you can check details about the attack to prepare your city defenses okay so here we have a estimated number of troops attacking which one of your your city is targeted and its position on the map okay so let's tap that and this is the city that's being targeted here it looks like so let's tap it hello now check your city's information to know if your defenses are ready so let's tap that and it says on this panel you'll see your estimated defenses it's really bad your enemy will conquer your city so I only have 71 units they'll conquer if I don't reinforce so we can send the troops from that city to this city and we can send 87 there and there was already 71 so okay we sent the troops over and here comes the enemy attack and it looks like we have successfully defended okay so we got 217 gold 217 troops and two skill points what an incredible reflex indeed you are quite a war chief i'm happy you came you undoubtedly win the title of king of the three lands okay that was easy as you might expect thousands of lords have come from other regions to prove their bravery fight relentlessly expand your empire to gain as many valor points as possible each season lasts multiple weeks at the end of it you'll be able to move to the next league start in a new region and fight even more powerful lords if you reach the highest league you'll prove that you're worthy to be my successor good luck if you need a reminder what you saw in this tutorial you could check the guide here it will remind you of the game's basics whenever you need them well, we've got some music all right can i change my name here yes dude i hope nobody took that someone took my br okay there we go oh what should my banner be <laughs> i love it dude i love it cheers oh i can choose what kind of furry i want to be oh sick oh man we're, we're we're popping off okay spend your gold to upgrade your cities five times so this is like my main city right 
so let's upgrade this boom that costed 14 okay what's this oh we just found 81 troops they were just on my land okay all right so that's level three three and four i'm gonna bring them both i'm gonna bring them all to five upgrade a city 10 times all right oh i get a daily login reward 100 sapphires okay sick a bunch of achievements 31 sapphires okay here's my war reports here all right i'm gonna grab this territory so i'm gonna send a scout one unit we'll see and can i send a scout here as well kill two birds with one stone all right so they have 10 units 10 units let's send a scout over here so this has 519 right so i mean really we only need to send i mean they only have 10 right so like we'll send 125 here we'll see how that goes so we got 156 okay boom 149 troops and what are we gonna get here all right we got experience from that and here we get 194 troops on our on our land so i guess the more land we have the more uh, troops we're gonna gain here which is good we've got some achievements some free free gems free sapphires and we have six skill points so hang on this says plus two combat bonus when attacking okay plus three gold percent production plus three percent combat bonus when defending plus three troop production i feel like right now i probably want true production and gold production right because we just started so i'm gonna do three here and three here and we will save our skills and we can find gold on the map it looks like that's good to know let's zoom in here what is what is let's see the detailed stats in the section you can see the troops in your city all right we have defense city walls gold production troop production okay i got a celestial stone i don't know what that is but whatever all right let's attack this we've already scouted it earlier and we'll send from here well no we'll send from here we'll do two hundo all right there's some gold production we love that okay we've conquered that land as well we got another skill point you can see the list of conquered cities here for each city you can see its name level and troops defending it tap here to focus the city okay all right let's level up those cities that we just took we got 269 troops okay so i mean we have a lot of gold i feel like we can bring everything to level 10 and be fine with that so let's do that 384 troops okay so we are we're actually popping off in terms of like troop production now it looks like i'm gonna have to send some troops here so let's send like 200 here and i guess i'm gonna be kind of spreading myself a little bit thin Let me grab that 960 gold sick i mean if this if our main city can't get attacked then in theory wouldn't it make more sense to just not have any troops in it right I mean it's got the shields on i'm assuming that we have a bunch of these are all level five cities by this das g player but i don't think he really understands who he's like messing with i'm gonna level everything up to 15 actually because like we're kind of balling out of absolute control here so let's just do it and for the skill point we're gonna put that into troop production more troops the better and this player looks like I mean, their cities are level 35, so that's a lot. So I'm not gonna mess with that. It's also probably better not to be fully spread too thin, right? Oh, I can't go higher than 19. Oh, I actually just spent all my money. Okay. All right. So now we got to kill somebody and this level 35, dude, I can't kill, but I can kill this level five, dude. So let's go ahead and send a little, we'll send a little scouty boy in there. We'll see what's going down. 78 troops. All right. So great news. We can crush this dude. We'll send them from our main city. We're going to send big units because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these 1000 units and we're going to basically move them across the board here. So grab that this feels actually you know what I've never played a game like this before but this is kind of interesting this kind of reminds me of more like a sort of like a board game type of thing which is really cool so it's less about like actually seeing the troops and the warfare and more about like the strategy and planning moving a across a map and like controlling territory so that's really interesting so here we're level nine okay sick oh we've got somebody is attacking me back and I defended successfully so that's actually terrifying i didn't know they'd be online i thought they were offline you can get a chest for free every 10 levels or buy them in the shop okay let me open this chest and bada bing bada boom it's lit all right i don't know what any of that does let's open all these and we got a belt of the soldier and what is this sort of the journeyman come to get your inventory and select an item we will equip that everything is equipped now and we're gonna go all in again on troop production all right 
right so we've put a couple of troops in each city so that way it's not so easily taken over like we just did for this das g fella we just yoinked his city basically and he tried to hit me back and uh, it didn't work out in his favor i actually defended successfully because i put all my troops in that city basically and so he didn't know what hit him and i popped off now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do the same thing for this lord player and i don't even feel like i need to scout because it's level one so maybe oh well wait a minute hold up maybe i should scout actually because i'm a little confused here let's upgrade this to 15 by the way and we'll hit level 20 on our main capital city there which is great we'll claim this first blood let's go dude okay i'm feeling like an actual war chief right now this is sick i can watch an ad for free rewards i'm, I'm gonna pass for now thanks but that's a good option later if you want to just run those while you're not doing anything send some scouty boys we got 79 here okay 79 troops what's this one 99 okay so i'm not scared of this gentleman at all let's just why can't i send more than 34. I'm actually confused. Let me grab that. Okay, so the world map is actually massive oh my god dude this place is huge okay how am i gonna i'm about to conquer all this dude there's no way all right so we've leveled up everything to level 20 now let's bring our main city up to 24 it's as high as we can go we got a celestial stone what i'm gonna do I'm going to send another scout over here. If this dude is online, he's probably he's probably mad that I keep poking him. I keep messing with him. But like, I'm not going after the level 33, dude. Like these dudes are all level 30. Look at this 40, bro. There's no way, no shot. And also the game won't let me attack this little weak player down here. It just says that I might die or something. So we're going to launch a full scale invasion here. And I'm going to send all of my troops and we're going to see what happens. I'm just going to I'm just going to freaking yoink it. I'm just going to yoink this dude's city and uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's kind of in the middle of his territory. So like, realistically, is this a good strat? Probably not, but I mean, you know, about to find out. All right. I'm going to send all of my units to this city. Now we'll do that. Boom. And, uh, let's see if he's going to defend this thing. I'm not really <laughs> sure if that is going to, I don't think he's going to defend it to be honest with you, but, uh, we'll see, you know, we'll find out. Is he going to defend it? He is, uh, he's not. He launches a counterattack, a 10 second counterattack here. And let's see what the counterattack is between one and 10 K. And it looks like I died. Did I lose there? Okay. The more cities you conquer and the higher level they are, the more valor points you get access your leaderboard to see your ranking and discover more. Okay. You can see your ranking information here and a summary of your actual season badges. Here you can get info about your league and the season you're in. Each league has its own rules. You can see the details here. To you know how seasons and leagues work, you can have more details here. All right, so I launched an attack, took the city. He hit me back with 5,000. So that would naturally kill me. I see. And we have five skill points. And I think it's time that we put a couple into attack and a couple into defense. And then we'll do one more into gold. I think that's probably the play here. I'm going to just send my 34 troops at this player. I don't really know what that's going to do. It's going to take almost seven minutes to hit that city. So I don't really know what's going on there. But uh, let's attack here. I'm going to scout this dude real quick quick he's level 33 but like you know i mean may she, maybe a hey, maybe just maybe all right here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit this dude i'm gonna hit this dude this might be a fool's play but he's, he's a higher level than me but he's got not that many troops and like i don't know maybe he like won't hit me back i mean this is kind of it it's like a weird he's in like a weird territory over here you know what i mean like i mean oh dude he does have a lot of land though he does have a lot of land this might be not a great strat but whatever oh yeah his city walls would destroy me okay i'm not gonna do it but this dude i'm gonna put 10 11k troops in there i'm gonna do it we'll see what happens we hidden and we took the city all right i'm level 21 now that's huge okay create or join a clan to play with your friends or meet new allies to defend your city upgrade them before getting attacked to improve the defenses and city walls all right let's upgrade this b let's go all the way as high as we can go all right it's lit so we took that dude's city we yoinked it from him real quick a it's lit oh we got another chesticle baby let's open the chesty oh 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 we got a bunch of a uh, bunch of necklaces over here this is cute okay so if we click this button on the bottom here it looks like we can actually join a clan basically you go through here and there's different pages the ones that say join you just click and you just join automatically or you can apply to a clan specifically and in this video we're going to create our own clan okay 
okay let's do the omniarch gang okay gang gang let's go ahead and use a hundred of our sapphires here now creating my own clan is super important because the devs of billion lords actually let me know that if you guys join my clan they're going to be giving you guys a full set of mythic quality offensive equipment as well as a legendary grade attack weapon which my current gear is absolute trash so you guys are going to have a massive advantage if you're playing with me in million lords but on top of all that you're going to get free speed ups an exclusive city skin a mighty chest and there's going to be a code on the screen and in the description below for even more free stuff so million lords really hooked it up for us so please click the link down below give the game a try and see if you can perform better than me during this season all right so we're fortifying a bunch of these cities with our troops we've got a couple of thousand in all of the like perimeter cities here this one's kind of sticking out so i put more troops in it but we're gonna have about 20,000 troops over here and my plan is i'm actually gonna push up into this tech player because this das g player has a lot of level 25 cities here and these this other dude the r17 samu has a bunch of level 35 cities so i don't really want to poke any of them this dude's got a bunch of 35s as well so i just don't want to i don't want to hit those higher level players and the game won't let me hit this level one player very much so i'm not going to do that what if i send my troops all the way over here can i do that because i'm thinking like i don't want to collide with any of these like level 25 or 30 cities but if i can scoop up a piece of territory here and then start striking up north here like this dude has like super extended like he is overextended. i feel like it's like crazy and so i don't think he's gonna be able to defend all these level fives like he just grabbed a bunch of land and uh doesn't look like he's defending it very well so i think that's gonna be the strat meanwhile this is kind of my home base i'm gonna try and leave like a bunch of troops in uh, all these cities here so i'm gonna send like let's say a couple thousand over here and uh, we'll see what's we'll see what's gucci send some over here as well bada bing bada boom we got the victory up here so now we got 20,000 troops all right we have 20,000 troops chilling can i attack emmy from this city i can't okay it looks like this mountain range here actually prevents me from hitting this player city which does make sense logically but that is unfortunate because i was not thinking that all right i'm gonna send 16,000 of those troops back we're gonna send them back over here and i'm just gonna start attacking from the bottom i think that's the play i'm gonna say hi to my clan maybe they can tell me some strategies here maybe they can give me tips some insights all right so we have nearly 30,000 troops in this city now and so basically what we're gonna do we gotta take out this this uh, level 33 dude right here so all right i think what we do is we put a forward position probably all into this we put everything here i think all right i just realized those celestial stars i've been finding are actually for the sun and moon event happening right now and it looks like there's some exclusive items you can get here harvester what's that that's sick who's this dude weapon master okay interesting so i don't really know too much about all that so i'm not gonna i mean i only have four so i can't really spend it but anyway we have 33,000 troops here i think we attack i mean this dude is like way stronger am i insane am i dumb I'm gonna do it I'm stupid let's find out what happens he's like double my level but you know what let's just goof around and see what happens maybe he completely forgot about what's going on over here let's see are we gonna take it oh we did it boys let's go yo we we got like five levels from that kill right there you can now choose a city skin to differentiate yourself okay gang gang let's go do I want to change my city color I feel like these cities these the the design of these cities reminds me of like Spyro the dragon which is a definitely a good thing okay so we did lose a, a ton of troops by the way doing that attack I think I hit him with 30k let's see this so he had 26.7 I had 36.5 I lost about 20,000 units in that attack which is dramatic but we yoinked the city so I mean you know what I'm saying I feel like that's a big old dub boys lose 10,000 troops that's an achievement oh my god that's sick all right we have 73,000 troops in this city so now we're going to scout real quick three second scout no big deal we'll see how many troops we have 1.5 bro that's nothing we're gonna send 65k to hit this dude again also by the way this dude is still double my level so i'm really poking a monster right now i feel like and they honestly are either not paying attention or they don't care about this territory or they're offline or something like that i have no idea let's see what happens and we got the w that's huge level 28 baby let's go we got two skill points for that that's massive and we only lost like 12k it looks like so that's 
pretty good, right? Could be worse. 2% gold generated per troop killed when attacking. I'm just going to put some points into that because I feel like I feel like at least I'll get some gold back when I kill these dudes. Summer Conquest. Ooh, the heat is rising in the three lands. Sun and Moon is the summer's first event and offers celestial stones, a new currency you can collect, two new city skins, radiant like the sun enchanting like the moon and a map with summer and astral vibe Ooh, okay so far just first impressions this game is very different than any city builder war strategy game i've ever played obviously i mean the game literally looks and plays very differently but it's also like uniquely interesting right because like typically territory management and like troop movement typically that's something that you would think about like for example we play a lot of rise of kingdoms on this channel and that's something you might think about if you're like an alliance leader or an r4 or you're like planning the war for kvk or something like that the the individual like fighters the field fighters right they don't really think about that sort of thing but in this game that's all that it is it's just troop management territory management and it's kind of like a higher level of gameplay rather than like on the ground like actual swords and and like cavalry versus archers that type of thing this is more so like top level war military management which is very different for me i'm not familiar with this type of game at all and so it's cool to try something new anyway guys that's gonna do it for my first million lords video let me know in the comment section below what you think of million lords have you tried it yet what do you think of the game and the gameplay i would love to hear from you in the comment section below and while you're down there drop a thumb up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other million lords players might see it and of course consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a million lords video i do want to thank million lords once again for sponsoring today's video without generous sponsors like them i wouldn't be able to do what i do here on youtube so make sure you download million lords today click the link down below it helps out the channel a ton and like i said earlier join my clan you are going to have a massive advantage here in million lords just by playing with me and logging in every day the game is 100 and free you have nothing to lose try the game today with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace